Hello everyone, Shalaka here from STEM Birds. Welcome to Milton City Council Learning Directives. Today we are going to learn about, uh, we are going to make a fish game today. So in that fish game there is a shark, there is a big shark and it is, he is going to eat other small fishes. Let's learn, it's a surprise. Hello everyone, Shalaka here. Welcome to STEM Birds Coding Tutorials. Yeah. So now uh, we are going to make a game with the fish. So name of a game is fish game. Yeah. So let's get fish sprite. Yeah. So idea of this game is there is a shark fish in the game. So shark is shark fish is going to move with the mouse pointer. And there will be other small fish. So first uh, select shark. You can select this shark 2 sprite. Okay. So this shark 2. So this shark will be moving with the mouse pointer, okay, and it will try to catch other small fish, okay, in the tank. So let's get ready, add another sprite, again, this fish, okay, you can see there is this fish and oh, look at that, this fish has got lot of different costumes, wow, so let's select it, click on fish. Yeah, and now to look like these fishes are in the sea or in the ocean or in the water, let's check whether we have got any underwater backdrop. Click on underwater. Yeah, see there is underwater one and two. You can choose any backdrop. I am choosing this one, underwater two. Okay. Now let's adjust size because these looks, they look too big. So first click on shark fish, events when green flag is clicked. So let's set its size. So go to looks palette. Let's make it smaller so that it will look nice when it is moving in this water. So let me check. So if we put set size to 100 uh, instead of 100, if we make it 60, let's check. Yeah, small enough. Okay, so now we are going to program this shark fish so that it will move with the mouse pointer. But uh, it is not moving exactly with the mouse pointer, but it has it should look like it is moving smoothly uh, and it is following the mouse pointer. For that, first let's get a forever loop, attach it here. After that, get if condition, if. So now as I said, this fish has to follow mouse pointer. So I will write a code as if the distance to mouse pointer is less than or greater than 5 steps, then it will move towards it 5 steps. Okay. So operators, click on operators because we, we will need greater than operator here. So get the greater than operator, add, add that block. And put it here inside if. I will zoom in so you can look it nice. Okay. So now click on sensing palette. And you can see there is a block here, also block, which is distance to mouse pointer. So drag it and attach it here. So distance to mouse pointer. If it is greater than 5, what does that mean? Means if distance of this shark is greater than 5 steps, then move 5 steps. So, go to motion palette and get the block. Move 10 steps and instead of 10 steps, make it 5 steps. Hmm. Also, while it is moving, it has to point towards mouse pointer. Okay. So, get the block, point towards mouse pointer and put it above if loop but inside forever because the shark fish has to point towards mouse pointer always and now let's check whether it is working or not so if i click on green flag see so shark fish is pointing towards mouse pointer and it is following mouse pointer if i stop moving mouse it is stopping so now the shark fish is ready to move and our player can player who is going to play our fish game is ready to move shark fish. Okay. 
perfect now click on stop button yep and now click on this fish okay so what we're going to do here um you can think that you can consider that there will be lot of different fishes in the sea okay so instead of adding lot of sprites over here we can add different sprites but how many maybe 5 6 10 or maybe we will get tired later yeah so instead of adding too many sprites what we can do we can simply create clones of this fish okay so let's learn how to do it so first events when green flag is clicked yeah and definitely this fish is going to be smaller than shark so let's set its size so get the block when green flag clicked then click on looks palette get the block set size to 100 percent and here instead of 100 percent if we make it 50 let's check mm, yeah small enough you can see the fish is small here yeah now as i said we want lot of fish in the water so let's create clones so forever attach a forever block scroll down here and create clone of myself get that block attach it inside forever okay but if we simply add create clone of myself forever then i am sure there are lot of clones it is going to add but to slow down that action let's add some wait statement so maybe wait one seconds so that after every one second it will create clone okay and when it will start as a clone then we will add some action okay so with this code it will create clone of this fish after every one second okay now let's check so for example uh, get the block when i start as a clone if i say move 10 steps 200 steps now see what happens so it is creating clone after every one second it is going to create a clone and it is adding it will move by 100 steps okay so let's add proper action for these clones okay so i will remove this block control forever hmm. so first what i am going to do the clones are not going we are not going to create the clone here in the middle of the water what we'll do we will place this fish on the left side on the left side okay to make sure that go to motion palette and get the go to block and attach it above here above forever loop okay. so it will start from here so we know that on this stage x axis here the left side x coordinate will be minus 240 so so that it will be i will write here as minus 230 maybe and why so i'm okay if the fish start from top to bottom so why i will y position i will set it as any random position between 180 to minus 180 minus 180 so 180 is a topmost coordinate y coordinate and minus 180 is here at the bottom okay so now you can see every time you click on green flag you can see the fish every time i click on green flag the x coordinate is fixed but y coordinate is changing okay now so when i start as a clone so first we will make sure that the fish is pointing in direction 90 which is right side then the fish should look like it is swimming in the water okay and it will as it is a small fish it will move very small steps okay so get the block move 10 steps put it here on the forever and let's make it three steps so that it will go slowly and if on edge bounce let's see what happens with this code so if i click on green flag you can see clones have started 
it is started creating clones and when it is touching edge it is bouncing back okay but they are going in the straight direction okay so what we can do hit the block point in direction attach it here in the forever and or okay sorry not in point in direction we will get the turn block so that it will look like the it will look like fish are moving in different directions so it will turn and get pick random block and the turning angle can be from minus 10 to 10 okay now let's see so when you click on the move yeah look like that so the fishes are moving they are turning and they look like they are swimming okay and so here it is creating clone after every one second okay and if you observe here the costumes you can see there are different costumes for fish so what we will do when it is creating clone we will add next costume block so that it will look like there are different fish in the water so go to looks palette and there is a next costume block so get next costume attach it inside forever so with that what will happen forever create clone of myself wait one second next costume so every time the clones will be with different costumes you can see that yeah and they look nice so it looks like there are different fish they are swimming in the water and you can see that this sprite is staying still over here so we will hide sprite so that it won't look like that there is only one there is one fish uh, which got stuck at the edge so for that we will hide this sprite so get the hide block and attach it here at the top so hide so we are going to hide sprite however when i start as a clone we have to add show block otherwise we won't be able to see any fishes so get the show block attach it here now check so when you click on green flag yeah so you can see there are different clones they are moving and now we will make this fish shark eat them okay and we will add score as well so let's add score so when i start as a clone we have got this forever loop here so to add score click on variables let's add a score as a variable click on make a variable button write down score okay so as we know we have to set the initial value of a variable so get the block set my variable to that is set score change it to score set score to 0 and now here when it is starting as a clone forever let's add condition so go to control if get the if condition attach it here if go to sensing get the first block touching mouse pointer attach it here if touching shark 2 then change score by 1 so if touching shark 2 click on variables and get the block change my variable by 1 so it will add so when i say change score by 1 it will add one point it will add one to your score every time let's check yeah now what is happening here so when the shark is touching fish you can see the score is adding too much it is not adding with one yeah so what is happening here two sprites when they overlap it will consider it as they are touching to each other when they are overlapping okay so that when touching shark 2 we have to hide that particular clone okay so go to looks and get the hide block so anyways when shark will uh, shark is touching that clone or that fish 
the fish will be hidden let's add some sound as well play sound okay here we don't have a pop sound there is a bubble sound that's too long let's add a pop sound from sounds library for that click here on the sounds tab go to sound library click on this button and here in the search i will put pop so pop is a nice and quick sound so once we added that sound you can see that sound is here in the list now go back to code and from play sound block choose pop and add this block play sound pop here in the if so if touching sharp 2 change score by 1 play sound pop until done okay and hide now here we will send one broadcast message so that when shark will uh, touch fish we will add some graphic effects for shark so it will look like it is eating that okay so go to events get the broadcast block attach it here and instead of message one write down the new message name so for our understanding let's write down shark touching fish so this is the name of a message i'm giving okay click on okay now let's check yeah you can see so now when the shark is touching fish you can see the score is adding by one every time and you can hear the pop sound okay but the shark it doesn't look like it is uh, means there is no changes to shark so let's add some graphic effects so that in a claim it will be it will look interesting when we are adding some effects hmm? so for shark events go to events and here when i receive message shark touching fish then go to control get the repeat block attach it here repeat uh, three times maybe hmm? here you can see for the costumes if you click on the costumes of shark you can see there are three different costumes okay so here currently we are interesting in costume one costume a and costume b okay so go to code now go to looks hmm? so shark should look like it is eating that eating fish so initially it will have costume a and when during our game it will be in costume a. initially when you start your game it will have the costume this costume shark to a so to make sure that when you start your game it will be in its initial costume add this block here as well switch costume to shark to now so when shark fish shark touching fish repeat three times change costume to costume b then add some seconds number of seconds maybe 0 0.1 again change it to costume b so here i will simply duplicate these two blocks duplicate attach it here again change it to costume a okay and then we can also add change color block so that yeah so it will look like it is ha something is happening there and then at the end we can clear when this action will happen three times we can clear this graphic effects and the shark will be in its original color and original costume let's check so click on green flag look at that so when shark is eating it is opening its mouth it is changing color and it looks interesting isn't it so now you can see shark is eating fish you can get a score proper score and your player can play your game hmm? but again this game it looks very simple yeah there is no challenging part for shark okay so now to make it happen uh, 
to make your game bit more challenging let's add some other thing so that when shark will touch that particular thing shark uh, will set the score to zero and then you have to play again okay so um, okay let's see is there a jellyfish yeah so let's add this jellyfish okay so idea is when shark will touch this jellyfish we set score to zero okay so when you are playing you have to avoid jellyfish so you have to move uh, move this shark away from the jellyfish okay and then still you have to eat other fish so that you will get a score so for jellyfish let's write down a code when green flag clicked mm, it's too big if i make it 50 uh yeah small enough perfect control forever let's make it move randomly everywhere so forever move 10 steps if on edge bounce okay and for its direction to add some for its movement let's add some direction so get the block point in direction 90 put it above forever and let's make it 45 so it will be moving randomly on the screen okay and also let's add condition if inside forever if touching shark so go to sensing palette and get the touching block attach it here if touching shark 2 then let's add some sound we can add that sound other than pop sound so let's add boeing sound so go to sound library click here click on the sound library sorry about that. because when you move your cursor the the, the sounds will play. it will play those sounds yeah so boeing b o i This is, good. this is good. Click on Boeing. Go back to code. So choose Boeing sound from here. Play sound Boeing. So if touching shark 2, play sound Boeing. And don't forget to set, so set score to 0. So that when your shark will touch this jellyfish, you will lose your score. So set score to zero okay yeah now let's check let's play our game and check boing, 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 boing. look at that boing. Boing. yeah game looks a bit harder isn't it because that fish is moving really fast so instead of 10 steps you can make it five steps and <coughs> After playing this sound, after setting score, let's add wait one second so that immediately it won't touch again. Uh, yeah, wait one second is okay. Now check. Oh. Now I have to run away from the fish. So Boing. Boing. Yeah. Boing. Okay. And to <clears throat> make this jellyfish look special let's add change color put it here in the forever yeah. now see see it's a rain rainbow effect for jellyfish so now shark has to run away from the jellyfish and then can eat other fish yeah. so when it is touching jellyfish you can see this score is zero okay yeah so you can upgrade your game you can change the speed of your clones of this fish of this shark you can add a few more sharks you can add a few more jellyfish okay as a danger fish yeah and you can upgrade your game okay everyone yeah i hope you like this game i hope you enjoy watching this video okay thank you and see you again
बाय बाय सो गाइज आई होप यू एन्जॉय द फिश गेम मेकिंग फिश गेम एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियोज यू कैन चेक मोर वीडियोज एंड द कोडिंग एंड रोबोटिक्स कोर्सेस ऑन अवर वेबसाइट विच इज डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट स्टेम्बर्स डॉट कॉम डॉट ए यू वी हैव वराइटी ऑफ रोबोटिक्स कोर्सेस एज वेल एज कोडिंग कोर्सेस ओके एंड फॉर मोर लर्निंग्स टू वॉच मोर वीडियोज यू कैन चेक मोर वीडियोज ऑन मिल्टन सिटी काउंसिल लर्निंग डिरेक्टरीज थैंक यू